Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And um, yes, I'm a little bit close to you today. Um, that's because I'm going to be reviewing some face products for you today um, that were sent to me um, from Revlon through Otelie. And it's the Revlon Candid products that are new. And I have a foundation, a concealer, and a powder that I'm going to be reviewing. And I'm up close and a little personal. So anyway, um, what I'm doing is I did do a, a get ready with me with these products a couple of days ago. So you're going to be seeing that clip. And I have put on there that I was going to be doing some check-in throughout the day with how, how it wore. And of course, you know, it never fails. It, my plans kind of fell through with the day. So I did not get to do any check-ins that day but i did do a check-in today with um how it wore so the eye makeup is different between the get ready to get ready with me and the check-in so that's why it's different the eye makeup is different the hair is different but and that's why i just wanted to kind of explain to you um why the eye makeup is a little bit different and the eye makeup that I have on today is Laura Mercier and you're going to see me talk about that in this week's um, weekly wow so anyway you'll be um, seeing that later on the week but anyway so um, I'm going to go ahead and just cut right to the get ready with me and then I'll come back and kind of give you my final thoughts on the product and a little bit about the product and so I'll be right back. I have a little mini get ready with me and I'm going to be doing a demo on some products that were sent to me from Revlon through Octoly and they are these products here that they have come out with and it's the Revlon Candid Photo Ready um, Multi-Pollution Setting Powder, the Candid um, concealer <laughs> I can't even think what this is called and the um the um I want to call this a foundation for me this is a foundation but it's actually a um well yeah it's called a foundation why was I thinking it was like a um a um like a CC cream but anyway it is called a foundation but anyway what makes these special is that they have um anti-pollution they're more than just a sunscreen in them. They're um, anti-pollution. They also have in there that's going to help protect the skin from the blue light, um, you know, from like our, our phones and, you know, our computers, you know, because we're on our phones so much now these days. It's ridiculous. And I am... Um, I catch myself on my phone so much. It's just, oh... Yeah, anyway, it's um, a medium buildable coverage, no harsh ingredients, anti-pollution, anti antioxidant, anti-blue light, oil-free. Um, it's buildable, and the color I have is ivory in the foundation, and the concealer is in the color vanilla, and the powder, the finishing powder, is in the color... Um, what color is this? Uh, wah, wah, wah. I don't know. I think it's just a, like a number one. Yeah, number one. And they're all the anti-pollution in there. And it's supposed to be new. There will be links in the description box of where you can go and shop the products. I don't get anything um, from those links. It's just part of the uh, requirements from Octoly as I do have to put those links. And fortunately with um, Octoly, that's the only requirements. Um, I don't have to give a good review. I don't have to give a bad review. All I have to do is just um, put in within the time limit and put those links in there. So without further ado, let's get started with the little um, demo or the get ready with me. I've already done my eye makeup and I'm using a Tom Ford quad and I was going to bring that over here and I for left it over there. But anyway, so I do like, I've used this once. Um, for me, because I have dry skin, it is a little bit of a matte finish to it. So I don't particularly like that. But um, the, the primer that I'm using today is this one from Becca. 
and it is the um, the first light. Do 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 do. What is this called? I can't see it. Ooh. Anyway, it's the first light backlight <laughs> blurring primer. This one right here. Gosh, I'm so ill prepared for this, and my my t-shirt is falling off my hair. Oh. Anyway, whatever. So it does have a pump, which is nice. So we don't have to worry about, um, gosh, I don't know, dipping our fingers in or anything like that. It does have a pump. I like to start with just kind of a thin layer. So I'm just doing just that amount right there. And I'm going to just kind of dot it onto my face like so. And as you can see right there, that's all I need for right this moment my wipe and then I am going to use my Real Techniques um, beauty sponge and as with all of my um, products that I put on my face I always use a setting spray or this spray which is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist and I always um, spray my sponge with it first a little bit before I start putting that on and that's just what I do with all of my products so that's what I want to do with this one too just so I can see how that works and I'm just going to put all that around I'll try to hopefully in editing I can um, speed this up this process up I had a little bit of, I've been trying to get this filmed and I did another film of this on my iPhone sitting over there on my tap my oh, that's just gonna have to go off that is my t-shirt I always have my hair wrapped up in a t-shirt when I put my makeup on and I didn't want to see I didn't want you to see my dingy t-shirt <laughs> so I put this bow on and um, it obviously didn't work so anyway I filmed this before on my iPhone and uh, I didn't do any voice on it, and I was just going to do a voiceover with it. But um, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't really like how it turned out. So now, as you can see, that's just a really thin layer. And um, you can still see, let's see, right here, my um, dark spot that I have right here. I'm beginning to think that this is from some medication that I'm taking that causes um, malaza. Is that how you say it? And um, I'm thinking that that is what is causing this because I'm starting to get it over here too. And I started really doing some research because I'm thinking why am I starting to get these dark spots like that? And um, Fortunately, some of the new medication that I'm on, um, that is one of the side effects of this. And I'm thinking, oh, great. You know, isn't that the way it goes? You know, you take a medication to take care of one thing, and it just creates 10 other things, you know, problems, 10 other problems. So you're almost, you're almost thinking, well, hmm, are you better off to not even take... The medication to begin with. Hmm. You're beginning to think. That's what I'm thinking. I'm beginning to think maybe I just need to just get rid of all of it. And just not take nothing. I would probably have to go to a um, a desert island island for about a month <laughs> while I'm doing that because I don't think anybody would be able to stand to be around me. While I'm detoxing off of all that crap that I'm on, to be honest with you. Okay. Mm. So there we go. That's what it looks like on. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I tried to move my camera up closer so you could get a closer view, um, but I don't know if you'll be able to tell. I'm going to try to do um, check ins throughout the day so you can see how it wears and stuff. But anyway, that's all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple layers. Um, you can build it up um, is what it says. It's buildable, but um, I'm not really concerned with um, that stuff poking through or peeking through. It's okay with me. Um, I don't really like a full coverage anyway. So so now I'm going to do the, um, the, the concealer. 
And this one has a pretty cool little um, DOFA applicator. Can you see that? Am I even holding it up? Anyway, it kind of curves up a little bit. I don't know if that really is going to benefit anyway, but I'm just going to do a little bit. I don't normally do any kind of concealing because I have found it doesn't matter what I use. It all creases underneath the eye. Now I'm going to use this pointy end of my beauty uh, I call it my beauty blender, but my real, team, real technique sponge, so I can't even talk. That's another thing of uh, some of the medication I'm taking. And part of my depression is that I just fumble all over my words anymore. But anyway, I'm just going to blend this in underneath my eyes and just hope for the best that it doesn't crease all up underneath my eyes today. With all of the um, under eye wrinkles that I have, plus the dryness, I just don't like putting any kind of concealer or brightener or anything underneath there. Any more powders and stuff. It just, just by mid-afternoon, I just look like I've aged, you know, 10 or 15 years. So I just don't like putting anything underneath there anymore. I have just given up. So anyway, I'm going to um, get my little fan, because I kind of like to let this stuff dry a little bit, but it does it kind of looks like it's drying down pretty quickly. Um, sometimes I put um, foundation and stuff on, and I go a little bit heavy-handed, and it takes a little while to dry. So I have this little um, handheld fan. Let me get it, because I wanted to show it to you anyway. Oops. I want my pillow. I ordered this off of Amazon. It was like ten dollars. It's just a little handheld fan that I thought it would be good to um, dry my foundation before I put powder on. Because you know sometimes when you put um, powder on, your foundation isn't quite dry. It kind of sticks. So I thought this would be handy to um, dry my foundation, but in hindsight, I wished I would have got one that just sat on my desk because I really don't have time in the morning to just sit and hold a fan and dry everything. Because um, if I had one that just sit there, I could be doing other things while this is drying my face. And this one is supposed to like hang on stuff like a um, stroller or something like that, but I don't have anything that sits over there that it will even hang on. But it's, um, it's not battery operated, you charge it. It's a USB, but they had some that were little desk ones that were USB. But anyway, there you go. So if you're thinking about getting a little fan for that purpose, don't get a handheld one, just get one that sits on your desk. <laughs> so anyway. So that's dry enough. So now we're going to go in with the little powder. And this one's kind of cool the way they did it because it has a little flip lid on it. And unfortunately with my eyesight, which you guys are probably having the same issue, is I can't find <laughs> where to open it most mornings. Now if you were in your 20s, you had already had this little thing opened and your powder on by now but not me okay where's where's it at where's it at where's it at let's see oh, I'm okay oh my stars I go through I've used this there we go a few times see oh here we are over here it flips. See, it flips. <laughs> and I can't see where that little lip is at to flip it up. Oh, yeah. This is why it takes me an hour in the morning to get ready. It's because I can't see anything. So I'm going to use... I'm using my bougie powder brush, my La Mer powder brush to put on my Revlon Drugstore foundation or powder. 
and I'm just doing it like I do any of my normal powder. Yep. So there we go. And that's all I'm putting on. I just put a light dusting mainly just to set everything. And I do, I've always set my foundation. I know I probably should get out of the habit of doing this because I have dry, mature skin, but old habits are hard to break, you know? And I just kind of like the way it looks. I will put a setting spray uh, on, you know, it's a spray to get that powdery look off, settled down anyway, but yeah. Anyway, so there we go. That is what the finished look is. That portion of it, of course my face is not done. I have my eyebrows and all the other stuff done, but this is the part that I needed to show you. Um, I will be checking in throughout the day and show you wear tests, but this is what it looks like. I mean, it does a, a good finish and everything. Like I said, it's, um, I think more geared toward the um, formulation is probably geared toward more for people with maybe oily to combination skin, not necessarily dry, mature skin, but the finish is really pretty. It's kind of a, um, oh, I can't even think of what I want to say. It's the, um, very kind of silky smooth looking. Um, definitely, um, I probably could have used definitely another layer for sure, but I'm kind of a little bit in a hurry, but but like I said, I'll do a little check-in and let you know how it wears. Right now it looks really pretty. And um, anyway, I'll finish getting ready and I'll check back in with you here in a few hours. Bye. Hello, I'm doing an update or check-in for the foundation, uh, or actually all of it. And it is a different day than when I put this on. The day I did the um, demo where I put it on, that day just ended up being a horrible day to even try and do a check-in. So I have it on a different day and I just wanted to check in and let you know how I feel like it has worn. I think it wears pretty good. Um, I don't, I don't like it. And the reason why I don't like it is because it's just too drying for me. I have, you know, dry skin and it's just too much of a matte finish for me. I like more dewy. So the whole, you know, with the powder and the, the foundation is just too drying for me. I do like the, um, the concealer. I don't feel like the concealer has creased. It's worn really well. I mean, the foundation itself wears really well. So if you want something that's pretty long wearing, um, I feel like it oxidized a little bit on me. Um, each time I've worn it, um, I feel like it's gotten a little bit um, kind of orangey. I'm out in my car. I don't know. Well, that's a fake. I'm out in my car in front of TJ Maxx. I'm getting ready to go in and look for some sunscreen. I have, I'm out of sunscreen, and the sunscreen I have is the one that I got in my um, pink soul box and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's like putting on a really heavy silicone primer and I don't like that at all. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of do a check in with you. Um, the finish of it, like I said, is, is pretty, I, if you have oily to maybe combination skin, you probably would like this. I'm going to try it again this summer when, you know, we have the humidity here, but Right now, I, I don't like it. I don't like the way it feels on my skin. My skin feels really dry and tight. And I just, each time that I've worn it, by the end of the day, I'm, I'm just ready to take it off. I can't wait to take it off. So anyway, so that's the process on it. I The concealer, like I said, is pretty nice. I don't feel like it's done a lot of creasing under the eyes, which is very unusual because just about every concealer that I've tried has creased so I think I'm going to continue to use the concealer but other than that the rest of it I'm just not that huge of a fan of it and that again that's just because of my skin type so anyway that's my check-in sorry about the phone wobbling but anyway so getting ready to go into TJ Maxx and see what I can find in there so. 
Okay, so my final thoughts on the product, uh, starting with the foundation, is I do feel like the foundation is just a little bit too drying for me. I do have dry skin, and I think if I was going to use this, I would need to definitely moisturize a little bit more. I like a little bit more dewy finish. Um, it does have, I mean, it leaves a really pretty finish to the skin. I've had this on for about eight hours today. So you can see it's worn very pretty. I have not touched it up. It hasn't creased, it hasn't settled into the lines. Um, it's just, I, I wish it was more comfortable for me to wear because I like the way that it, um, it looks as far as, you know, the way it's worn, I guess I should say. But it's just not comfortable for me. So I'm going to put it away and try it again this summer when it's a little bit more humid out and, um, and see how my skin you know wears with it then but and then again it could also be the sunscreen that i'm wearing right now because the sunscreen i'm wearing right now i do not like um unfortunately so i'm i purchased a new sunscreen today so i'm going to try it with it tomorrow and if it's if it's a different outcome then i'll let you know but for me so far, it's just a little bit too drying. Even though on the, the PR verbiage with this, it does say it's supposed to be a hydrating foundation. Uh, for me, I, I don't see it being hydrating. The concealer, now the concealer I really do like. Um, it did not crease underneath the eyes at all. It has left a really smooth finish underneath the eyes, which is, very unusual for me to find a concealer that I actually like. Um, this one is in the color vanilla, which is number 10. I don't know if there's going to be a lighter color than this. And um, I kind of showed you a little bit in the um, demo, the doe fit was kind of kind of tilted up a little bit. And that is the color there, which I feel like is a pretty good um, match for me. I kind of wish it was a little bit more brightening. I wish they had a brightening one. I don't know if they do or not because it's new and I haven't really um, looked to see. And darn it, while I was at Ulta just a little bit ago, I should have looked and seen if they had a brightening one. But that's what it looks like. But I do like it for the fact that it doesn't settle up underneath the um, under eyes or, you know, in the lines, which is really surprising. It's very lightweight. I don't think that you would, um, if you had dark circles, I don't think that it would conceal because it's just a very lightweight concealer. But then I, again, I could be totally, totally wrong with that. Um, cause it's a very, the whole, the whole line is very, um, I say it's supposed to be medium coverage and it's buildable. I find it's a very lightweight coverage for me. Um, I do still see some um, some of my darkness like right here still kind of peeking through even with um, a couple layers and with the powder. So I don't know, but I like the fact that this concealer does not crease underneath the um, the eyes so that's that's a win for me and then the powder the powder that um, is a nice powder again it's just kind of drying for me but um, it doesn't settle it doesn't sink into any of the lines it just kind of helps blur the imp imperfections of the skin um, I like the fact that you know they did the little lid that flips up um, unfortunately because of my eyes, uh, it's not their fault. It's, you know, just age. I have a hard time finding the little lip to flip it up, but that's just because I can't see. But the concept of them putting the little lid on here that flips up so you don't, you know, get the powder spillage is very nice. Oh, there we go. See, I did it there. And, well, no, I did it. There we go. See, and it just kind of flips up like that if you didn't watch the whole demo. That way you um, click it down and then you've got your lid. So it's really good for like travel and you don't get, you know, a whole lot of powder. How I've been doing it is I just flip that little lid open and I um, 
pour some out into this lid and then I take it my powder brush into this lid and, and dust it onto the face. So um, overall, I think overall the um, the concept is good. I like the fact that, you know, that it's supposed to help block 100% of the blue light that, you know, supposedly is not supposed to be good for us now. I don't know about that, you know. Is it a gimmick? Is it really not good for us? I don't know. You know, that's all new for us. You know, we are all have been exposed to the blue light from our devices. And, you know, who knows if that's really bad for us, if it's just a gimmick to get us to buy products like these. Don't know. But anyway, um, I was very intrigued by that concept. That's why I applied for these because I thought, well, I do use a lot of um, my devices like my iPad and my laptop and my phone. So why not have a little extra coverage that's supposed to help block, you know, that type of thing. And um, this does say that it's supposed to block, you know, 100% of the blue light. Um, what is the price going to be of this? I'm not really for sure because they sent all this to me as a bundle and the bundle is around $31. So it looks like $10 each, which, you know, is, is about average for a drugstore anymore. So of course, you know, we can find them on sale, this, that, and the other through Ulta. But anyway, there'll be a link in the description box for everything. So anyway, so that is it for my little review of the Revlon um, Photo Ready Candid products of the powder, the concealer, and the foundation. I hope that you enjoyed my little review and get ready with me, and I will be talking to you soon. So um, talk to you soon. Bye.